the uh, tonight's meeting of the sewer commission on June 24th at 7 p.m. And uh, on announcements, um, I'd like to again remind everyone about the pool filling. Uh, if anyone is filling pools, um, you know, or um, or plan excessive um, lawn watering, uh, that we have uh, we have forms that Barbara has to be filled out that would uh, allow you to um, have an adjusted sewer bill, since the uh, water will not go down the sewer. Uh, but if you don't, you will be charged as if it did get down the sewer. So please, uh, if you plan to, uh, if you're putting a new lawn or if you're filling your pool, please see Barb, contact Barb to get the, get the forms and get pre-approval so that we uh, can help each other out. Uh, the other thing is grease traps. Um, as always, uh, grease trap reports, uh, the annual dues, uh, annual permit fees are due. Um, effective for the 1st of July and uh, we have been receiving some I thank those uh, establishments that are um, are sending in their annual permit fees uh, we still have a problem getting the uh, reports the pumping reports uh, so please get up to speed with them we're going to have a uh, another push here to try to get everybody compliant without excessive penalties but but again um, the, the annual permit fee um, for a significant non-compliance, which would mean several missed uh, reports and uh, and late uh, fees, is $250. Fully compliance is only 50. So uh, please, um, again, contact Barb um, so that you can be uh, can be compliant. Any other uh, comments or um, announcements from the commission? No, sir. Right. No. Okay, good, and uh, not from the audience either. <laughs> okay, current business, SRF project. Um, the, the engineering bids for this, um, for this project were solicited uh, two weeks ago and they were received. We received, uh, we, we um, requested quotes from two engineering firms that we are very familiar with, have both done work for the town. And have very good reputations we know well and are both very qualified for the jobs uh, they did um, both respond um, their responses were fully compliant with our requests so we're very happy about that and thank them very much um, they were clearly listening during all of our all of our interviews because all of our all of our concerns and hot buttons were addressed in the proposal so um, we have two fully compliant proposals that are under review right now and um, we have reviewed those the workshop just prior to this meeting we discussed those proposals um, we've made a decision to uh, interview the low bidder um, since we feel both candidates are um, uh, are qualified uh, we our next step will be to interview the low bidder um, by the end of this week so that we can proceed and make a decision and get get this job going in July in early July small water systems contract I'd like to open up discussion on that um, <coughs> we have a proposal there was a lengthy discussion at the last meeting which I unfortunately was not at so um, get who's champion on that okay. yeah. 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 You want to update, we'll update you mr. Thank chair you. we had a meeting with small water systems last meeting uh, we went over their new contract uh, they went in with a 2.5 percent increase which was uh, uh, suitable within our budget they also, uh, as you are aware, we have the generators maintenance program. Uh, after discussions with the uh, small water, we've come to an agreement on the generator maintenance. Uh, we then took all those numbers, put it into one nice proposal, and now it's now one nice contract. So I think it's on your desk, Mr. Chair, for approval. Any other questions from you guys? And I want to thank Troy and Mike both for their inputs, uh, especially on the legal matters. Troy, that was uh, excellent. And Mike, with some of the numbers that you ran, was very good. So talking with Mr. Bellotta, he agreed that the uh, uh, generator contract part of it was suitable for the price, and uh, it's a good program. Mm -hmm. So Good, good job. Um, I, I, I did look at it. There were a couple um, changes, which... Um, are, are fine 
and all, it all looks good. Uh, the fact of having that one contract is a really, a really good accomplishment. So that's great. Appreciate you taking care of that. So I guess in order to, um, in order to proceed, we, we would need a motion to. Before we do that, Mr. Chair, I just want to state that uh, it's been one year since we hired our outsourcing. Uh, I think it's been a great uh, uh, commodity for the town. Uh, it, it gives us a way to budget our budgets, which gives us a, a level budget every year. Uh, so I just want to thank all the good people at Small Water for working with us again this year and uh, extending the contract the way they did and the hard work they do for the town. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. I fully agree I, with that. I think I'd just like to echo that, that, um, that it has given us a fixed cost. Um, they've done a great job. You know, very, very happy with, with what they've done. And um, this new generator proposal, I, I really like the idea because we We've got a lot of dollars invested in generators and to maintain them um, so we don't have to you know be purchasing them in the future even extend the life you know two three years it's going to make a big difference mm -hmm. so I think that you know we seem to be moving in the right direction with all this yeah I think that was that was a great add um, to the contract not only because it helps us contain the cost but it makes sure they get maintained which which is extremely important when, um, when those generators don't run and we lose power it doesn't flow so well you know it, it, it's, it's really nice to know that they're out there working hard for us for the for the contract price so like i said i think they're uh, they, they showed a lot of good uh, integrity last year and, and when you hire a company that has integrity the, it's hard to beat that so again i thank them for their work and hopefully they're going to continue to work hard and expand their operations as well mm -hmm. we're, we're pretty much on a mission to, to work <coughs> on a balanced budget and this is what's bringing that fold so gives us good control yeah okay good that said is there a mr. chair a accept the <coughs> mr. chair I recommend that we accept the contract by small water systems for the sum of 83,000 I think Barbara 76845 with, with the generator generated. part of it <sighs> it was the, the contract I don't have a copy of it yep. sorry for that yes. Is it on? Oh, yeah, is it in it. here? I might have it. For eighty-four thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Exactly. Mr. Chair, I, I put a motion that we accept the contract for Small Waters for eighty-four thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars for the upcoming fiscal year. That also includes two parts of the contract: one for maintenance of our sewer and one for maintenance of all the generators in town. Okay. Do you have a second. I second that motion. Thank you, Mike. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Aye. Well done. Okay. Flow assessment contract for FY15. <coughs> Mike uh, Nolf has been overseeing our, our uh, monitoring and uh, has also looked at the contract. Um, Can I send this down? I should have. I, I, I guess. Um, we, we talk in the, the, the new contract in, in our place, yes. Cal? Yes, um, thank you, Mike. I mean, I, I've, I've been working with flow assessments. I, I've, I've, I've been out a couple times now, two, three it's times. Um, Might as well mm -hmm. I, I, I see the value of the contract, you know, hands down, but, but I, guess, I guess I'd like an explanation of an 8% increase is, is, is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see it, a better breakdown of where you know, is it, is it across the board 8%? Um, just a justification for it. You know, I, by, by being with these guys and, and working with them, you know, I, I know how long it takes. I know the work involved. Um, I see the added value of it. I, I, I just, as a, as a budgeted item, I just want to see where that 8% increase comes from. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Okay. Uh, I, I apologize. I probably should have a little... Uh, preamble there for people at home that don't know what flow assessment is um, sure. flow assessment is uh, a company that we we contract to 
who monitors our meters. We have three um, meters that uh, that record the amount of sewerage that we send to Lemonster and Fitchburg. Two meters on Fitchburg, the two Fitchburg lines, and then one meter on the on the Lemonster line. Uh, and flow assessment <coughs> does a couple things for us. They one maintain the the uh, the meters there. Uh, maintaining mostly means cleaning um, and calibrating of those meters so that they're reading correctly. Um, but the other part of their job that's very important is they monitor the data um, because the meters are very susceptible to environment such as uh, debris like flushables that are not flushable getting caught in the meters um, and, and um, it's very important that we get accurate readings because we are now uh, entering the phase where we're being charged by um, you know by our, our uh, by Fitchburg at least at now and will be soon by from Lemonster for the sewerage we send. So we don't want inaccurate readings going. So flow assessment uh, maintains these meters and also um, validates the data, so to speak, and corrects it when, it, when there is a problem with it. Um, so it's a very, very important service that, that we have. Uh, we need to maintain that, but we need to get um, a, good, a good fair deal for, for the users, <coughs> too, and that's what Mike is uh, working hard to, to do for us. Yeah, if, if I might add to that, the. Um What's, what's so important about this is the um, partially the settlement that, that if, 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 if this level, this is how sensitive it is, if this level increases like a quarter of an inch, it, it, it literally can cost us hundreds, even thousands of dollars to, for, the, for the amount flowing in. So to monitor that, to make sure the settlement's not there, and, and before the meter and after meter, especially after the meter, if, if there were a dam you know, of, of objects that, that's causing the, the levels to come up a half inch, that has to be corrected and it has to be adjusted out. So that's what, that's what makes this so, so important to, to, to make sure we're, we're monitoring it as much as we possibly can. We've, we've even trying to do self checks, you know, like, like more than four times a year. We're doing self checks on our own now is what we're doing. So um, I just, I think we're heading in the right direction. I just like to, see the justification for that cost yeah exactly mr chairman and yes, the, yes. Uh, i just want to thank mike for all the work he has with flow assessment and, and mike's correct now that we're going into our new phase of uh payments to fitchburg and uh, soon the lemons this is a accurate way to find all that but i also want to uh, um, suggest that mike talk to flow assessment uh, and, and you know the people out there i would think oh yeah uh, but we had a contract with flow assessment now for four years and they haven't raised their price. So this is, uh, uh, and I think Mike, knowing Mike, uh, he, he would work out a good deal for the town. Okay, so, so to be clear on where the action lies, will you contact full assessment or, do, or should we? Um, I, I don't know do if that? it should be done through us as a, as a, you know, like through Bob, so it's an official through us or, or, or if you'd, you know. Yeah, I would have normally had Bob. I'd be more than happy to. I'm, I'm just wondering if it, it gets more bite if it's coming from the commission, yeah. that's all. Okay, so I, I would uh, normally that would be the, the the path, and I think it'd be reasonable for Bob to send that request for that information, um, and and I think that level of the, the level of detail that you said is, you know, is it across the board? Is it you know where is the eight percent? Where, where where's it coming? Where are the increases, and right. what's the justification? Um, and um, and I, and I know you will be out shortly. I think it's I think it's <coughs> fine once you've submitted that if they want to contact Mike directly. Okay. That's that, fine. That, I'm fine with that. That, that yes. process works, yeah. I think, fairly well. And yeah, I agree. Okay. So that's, a, that's a great idea. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, on a, on a, a, yes. a side, just a quick side note yeah, no that the, the question came up about whether we own the equipment or they own the equipment. The, the yes. Yeah. And it, it's actually, it's, it's our equipment. Yes. That, to their knowledge, it's our equipment. Yeah. So. Um, excuse me, Mr. Yes, Chair. Did, did you want a copy of the old contract, though? I'd love an, a contract. It copy should have of the old been one. in the in the. If you still have the package from six four, I the had original both package? of them in there. Okay. Otherwise, I can send it to you. All right. Actually, yeah. But I think in the original contract, if, if I remember right, <clears throat> that's where the price was also included with the because we spent more money on the equipment as well. So Mike's right. I mean, we own the equipment. Right. I remember the installation mm -hmm. part of that, and then the uh, contract set aside. Right. And I think that was outside of it. Yes. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Yep. 
Okay, next gender item is uh, our, our inflow and infiltration um, reduction. And um, again, there was a, uh, I guess Pat came to the last meeting. I missed a good meeting, I think. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> so, Dave, maybe I could uh, pose upon you again to give us the update on this um, activity. Yeah, uh, just one point. Weston Sampson came in, uh, Pat came and gave us a summary on the Water Street. He found uh, four, for sure, illegal uh, pumps going into the, into pumps. the sewer. I think he had three questions or four. No, it's been corrected to three. It's been corrected yep. to three. Um, there was also, actually he had a real good percentage. I think it was 87% of the houses responded and walked in. So that, that's a great response. So again, thank you to the town of Lunenburg or the residents who let us in to make sure that we're in compliance. Uh, there was another 10 or 12 houses that I know, Troy, you're going to be working with Barbara over the next couple of uh, days as far as numbers. and. Um, yeah, actually, I've got, um, I'm planning to send out a letter tomorrow. I do have handouts if you want to see a draft. Yeah, if you could. I, I think the, the ones that Troy will help you with is the ones owned by the banks. I think that's the <coughs> the biggest problem that we have. The ones owned by the banks. 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 It was LLCs, those LLCs. companies. But those were the restaurants. I really don't know why they didn't get into those. Those were the restaurants. Those were restaurants. Well, the, hmm. the Seacole was Sean Patrick's. Well, was, we had Stella's. Yeah, but there was a couple of houses in there, though, that was it under was a LLC. trust. A trust. But I have the lawyer's name. I think we're okay. Yeah. Okay. So my plan, um, what I'm going to hand out is, this is the list of the, the houses that we're going to try to get in to see. And the letter is on the back. Yeah, please. Um, and the regulations. And then there's there's another set of the, the suspected and the confirmed. Um, and in the interest of time, Pat did come back and had an appointment date of June uh, July 19th on a Saturday. He figured he'd get the most people yes. with a Saturday. So in the interest of getting it out and getting these appointments set up I'm planning I'm hoping to send it out tomorrow um, so just for the people who can't see this list there's like 16 homes that we have not visited yet and have not made appointments right so that's correct and then there's another four that we haven't visited yet but we have appointments with I'm, uh, is it on the seventh that we don't have an date? appointment we just have phone numbers they've contacted but they still have to on finalize the an appointment Okay, but they have reached out to Weston yes. Sampson, is yep. the way this reads. Okay, so there's 16 homes that are uh, no contact with yet. Oh. Um, and you will be, so, so the letter is here. Um, Some, yeah. Those 16 people, are, or is it all 20 will get the letter? Yes, all, all 20. 20 will. All 20 will get this letter, okay. which basically is a final, a final notice of, uh, of, of a need for an inspection. And, um, that if, <coughs> and that if we can't get into these houses and there isn't some good reason, like there's nobody there or whatever, um, then we will be f put in the position of having to, uh, to levy some fines um, in, uh, consistent with our, uh, with our, our policy about <coughs> homes and home inspections. Bob, the only question I have, Mr. Mr. Chair, if I can, yes. you got some letters here and on the back of that, you got addresses of that. Is it, are these names part of this? This list? is yeah. This is it's all stapled together. This is the the biggest, longest list. Yes. Has the letter going to them on the back of it, and then the next, then this is the regs on the back of it, and then the next set are the sump pumps that have um, different letters. Okay. The illegal yeah. connections. Yeah. There's three letters here. Yeah. One, I see. Yeah. One for the last inspection. Okay. One for illegal connections that we know about. Yeah. And one for a suspect suspected. illegal connection. <coughs> These suspect illegal connections are homes we haven't been in yet. Um, I'm this not. I would assume. Yeah, although you might have, they may have seen them <coughs> on the outside. Um, I haven't seen that there were duplications. Whalen, Whalen, Whalen. Pat They're gave us. Pat gave us a belief that he couldn't get into the house, but he saw. You could see the sump what, pumps. What yeah. was going on? From the way the so I could add them. To yeah, them. so they should be, yeah, because they're not on this list, are they? Yep. Right, right, right. So add, add some pump. 
list. No, mm -hmm. they're not on that list. Okay. So there's another three we haven't been in yet. All right. Or... Yep, good. Okay. okay. So overall, Mr. Chair, it's been a pretty good success, uh, I think. I, I'm very happy with the results, very, very much so. I think Mikey ran some numbers just by catching these sump pumps is going to pay for the, the whole thing. All right, it did. By far, I believe it's going to pay for itself and, and then some, right, without a doubt. Yeah, um, I want to thank everyone out there who's been cooperating with this. Um, it's always tough letting people in your house and do these inspections, but it's been very helpful. And it, uh, as you say, we found some things, and hopefully now that will help the system and, and also help, you know, help the residents uh, get more in compliance. So this is really good. Mr. Chair, we did have uh, the last comment we did with Pat was there's 10 or 12 houses, Bob, is it? that has to be seen. Uh, their contract actually ends, if it hasn't already. Uh, talking with the DPW director and the board, uh, we needed Pat to come back with a price for what it would cost per day if we wanted to add it two more days to finish up this confirmed appointments of houses that he missed. They, right. They Jack's wasn't. point was just to, you know, if we can't get the people for a specific date that Pat needed to let us know if there was a cost, if they needed to go extra time. So I, I, I'd just like to say that I, I think, you know, even though it's a short list now, it's, it, it's a high suspect list. Why are we getting in there? So, so having them come back and, and, and really, you know, even hitting another 80% of this makes all the sense in the world to me because we find two more sub pumps in here and yeah. I, I think yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. The, the, the schedule now is for July July 19th, 19th Saturday. 19th for a Saturday to, to get in everywhere we can. Let's see what I, we end up I there. think, yeah. yeah, because clearly if we, don't, if we don't get a high percentage of this, or some, there's, there's something else going on. I think so. So just keep yeah. sending letters. And I think we'd probably need to change the tact. Yes. To get into the remainder. So we're going to have to have some dis discussion amongst that ourselves point, and yeah. then with the... Also, some of Western these are Samson. vacant or possible foreclosures. And I did check um, the registry, and none of them have changed hands yet. So they're still in the current ownership. <coughs> so until it becomes a bank owned, we don't have a whole lot of chance to get in on Excuse some of the foreclosures. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Um, Troy, can you look at that list for one second? Um, the, the big list, and if you see, is there anything in there that pops out to you? Is there anything in there that pops out at you as far as uh, trusses or anything like that? No, no, I mean, not especially um, if they're, no. I mean, I'm surprised the one restaurant they weren't able to get in, but. That kind of surprised me too, honestly. It's like. <laughs> um, I, I guess the only comment um, that I would have about the letter maybe is, um, it's not a big deal, but I, whenever you say mandatory building inspection, I prefer personally if it's stated where we were getting that authority, if possible. Um, it might it be in be that regulation. Yeah, it should be referring to the regulation. Yeah, we have it right on. We're going to have it on the back of the. Okay, so. Of the letter, that's the next. It'll page. be on the back. Yeah. Okay. It'll have all the regs that back okay. up the. Give us the authority to. Do all of it. But do you think we should That's make it clear in the but make it clear in the language though, to, and then it's on the back or something. You know, I don't think it's huge, but it would, I certainly would think it preferable. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, I, I think you're right. Agree. I I think too. If I were to receive a letter, I you know, a mandatory, under what authority? <laughs> mm. That's a good. Yeah, good point. It, was, it was in the original letter, but this they, they tried to condense this one, which is good because the other one was too long. But um, yeah, it should refer. Um, well, it does. Uh, yeah. This article, these connections. Oh, these connections are not allowed. Yeah, it's given an article number, right? <coughs> so there, this is going. This is attachment that's going. With yeah, it's going to just be on the back okay. of the. Okay. Yep. I didn't realize that. Yep. But you know, we do have a building regulation. I, I, I would, I would refer back to the uh, regulation. Final notice of mandatory per regulation. Well, it's I'm built right it's, in. It's Article, five, article right. 4. Article, right? article 4. So it talks about Article 4 in the last sentence. Down here, but I would 
I would put it up there. Per Article 4. Per Article yep. 4. And then let them yeah. read yep. what Article 4 is. Okay. Okay. Any other comments on um, any of these letters? I'm. Uh, my thought is I'll wait and maybe we could review them at another meeting. We'll send out the main letter to everybody and then maybe review when it comes time that after July 19th. If I'm okay with that, if it is. And we'll review and discuss these letters for the, for the four known <coughs> sump pumps and then the yes. three questionables. We, we should send them out soon. Are you gonna change the letterhead too, by the way? Did I put it on old? But, um, um, yeah, I could. I'll put it on the agenda for our next meeting. Yeah, but it just occurred to me, though, if, if the, th the th shouldn't the three questionables be getting this other letter? That's what I'm, that's what I'm, I thought I was going to send all of the, these people the main letter. Ah, okay. So as you will send the, right. that one to the, the questionable, all the, the, the yes, suspect. All these, all these lists. Yeah. And, and then maybe after, I'll put it on the agenda for the, yeah. And we, we are certifying them, correct? These letters? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then July 8th, we'll follow it up with we have found blah, blah, blah. Okay. And, and you're updating the uh, list? Yeah, I will. I used an old one. Oh. Or. Good game. Ah, yep. Thank you. Old one. Um, update. Nice letters, though. Um, I wouldn't want one, but nice letters. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd want one. No, either. I don't want one. <laughs> okay, if there's nothing else on that, um, we'll go into the, the project updates. Uh, I and I reduction, I think we just did. Unless there's anything else anybody wants to talk about on that. One, one question back to this. <laughs> what about the fines? What about them? If you're definitely illegal, do we send out notices that they've been fined? We, we gave the amnesty for that program for this reason. Ah, okay. Not you're saying for the, for the known sump pumps? For the known sump I, pumps. I think that's part of why we need to discuss this at the next okay. meeting in terms of next, what are we going to do with the known issues. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's it's it's. It's a good, excellent point, because we do have to deal with that. <coughs> okay. So there was something else on the I and I reduction. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, our favorite, SCADA. Any progress on that that no. you're aware Jack of? Jack is, I know Jack's plan is to have the work commence in FY15 because we were kind of too late for POs and getting work <coughs> done in this year. So the plan is that he's already talked with Al from Smallwater okay. and they're moving forward. Okay. So there's nothing holding it up other than nothing. just making it happen? Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, Lakeview uh, Pratt extension. Um, which we already kind of Which did. We've, we've touched. Uh, Dave, is there anything else on that um, project that no, we should, uh, what we discussed? We, we're going to be reviewing with the uh, bidders this week and uh, the lowest bidder this week. And like you stated before, we'd like to get the project going Why interest rates are low and move on with the system. But so far, again, everything's been going great with that. Mm -hmm. I, w I would say for any, uh, any listeners out there, uh, particularly listeners from Lakeview or Pratt, uh, one of the things that, that the um, both proposals um, made specific, specific, specific note to that I think is very important was getting the community involvement. So we will, as this process go forward, we will um, <coughs> we will set up some, some meetings for the residents to come <coughs> and see what's going on, participate, uh, get firsthand information, and, um, and give us feedback. So uh, please um, stay tuned and... Um, uh, watch for the agendas, and um, we may want to think about how to directly notify them of these uh, in terms of some mailings or something, cause just in case people aren't watching our show. <laughs> well, talking <coughs> talking with Jack, too, uh, the DPW director, Mr. Chair, I mean, he's been through this 
uh, I think we're going to be looking at his guidance to make sure it's smooth out in the field, uh, doing the ins uh, inspections and bringing any situations that happen up to us. So be ready, Jack. <laughs> It's going to be fun. This is going to be a it is. It's a, like I said, I'm, program. I'm glad Jack's uh, overseeing it. Yeah. That's a special thing. So. Yes, yes, yeah. He's, I can see him rubbing his hands. He's ready to go. Uh, okay. Um, small water systems, generator maintenance. Um, that has been complete. I, I guess uh, Jack had uh, informed us just before the meeting that the um, uh, major checkup of the um, of the generators is complete and um, going forward it'll be uh, it'll be included in the contract as we noted before so we're starting with a nice clean healthy uh, set of generators for um, for the future uh, flow rate metering um, Mike I know you attended a, uh, a, little, uh, a little get together last Friday yeah, thank you well, we, uh, we, we, we touched a lot on that and I, I think the only thing that I'd that I'd like to say is um, that, it, like the, especially Mass Ave, there's been a lot of settlement in the line, and um, they actually mentioned that uh, jetting the lines would 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 help that. Like you know, if we if we get <coughs> into having a jetting service, and I didn't get into it like how far up the line or anything, but if we <coughs> were to jet the lines out, it, it gives it a good flushing and basically helps helps the metering. Um, so depending on how cost effective that is, it, it's not a bad idea to look into it if it's mm -hmm. gonna, you know, obviously help decrease, you know, our meter ratings. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I just think it's a, it's something, one other avenue to look at. That's so is this you just sort of for a ways before they're, the meter they're, would they're try to clean the pipes They're basically up. gonna clean the pipes out. They're gonna, they come in and they jet them out and they clean them out. And, and, and I have no idea, you know, what kind of money we're talking, but <coughs> if, if it can justify you know, having our, you know, metering come down or right. actual, you know, metering, you know, numbers. Right. I mean, it, it makes sense, Good. you know, as long as it's cost effective, so. Mm -hmm. Was, did they do, um, when you were with them, did they do the Graham Street? Because that's the one that usually plugs up with um, sand. I'm, I'm, Graham, they were doing Graham Street. I couldn't make Graham Street. Unfortunately, okay. I had an appointment and I couldn't make that one. I, I made both um, Summer Street and, and Mass Ave, so. Which that those, might be the best one those, for, well, for flushing. I don't know. Being Fitchburg, <laughs> those were the ones I was concerned with. Yes, so. thank you very much. <laughs> 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 we all thank you. Okay. Uh, grease trap compliant. <coughs> Touched on that. Is there any? Nothing to report. We just else? like to see the results when the bills go out and who responds back. Okay. Well, we sent. Um, how long ago did we send the letter, Barb? I think it was June 2nd. I've had four, I've had good amount of calls. I have had four fees received. Some reports. Oh, good. Some yeah. reports. Excellent. Yes. Outstanding. Yes. Good stat. Yes. I know. Yeah, you should get, a, get an, an, an A, a big gold star. <laughs> I, I, I just like to say that somewhere in, in the near future that, you know, maybe we should, you know, consider another visit, visit everybody. In. Once again, try and simplify yeah. it. Maybe, yeah, maybe by our next meeting, we take a poll to see who those people are and who mm -hmm. aren't, and then we can maybe divide up some of the. You know, like I said before, Mr. Chair, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a copy of the uh, CD that's out there on your uh, PSA and just mm -hmm. give it to all the uh, shop owners yeah. just for their own. Actually, take when a we whole, go visit. Yeah. yeah, just give it to them, let them see what what is happening. Because mm -hmm. you could tell me. Uh, that the pipes are clogged, I won't believe until you actually see it. Yeah. And, and that's that's where sometimes mm -hmm. people look at it. So let, let's have that on, on the next agenda that mm -hmm. isn't too packed yep. uh, to take a look at, at uh, who's who's being responsive and who isn't, and then we can divide it up, decide what we want to bring to them for the CD or regulations, example pump reports whatever to help educate them because it, it usually does turn out to be an education but it is starting so Bob thank yeah, you for that update is, that is good I, I think the bottom line is we we, we got to come up with a way to simplify it that's all just make it easy to understand yeah, yeah. I think it's getting I, lost the report it's, part of it's especially <laughs> for us <laughs> yeah yes. no I, I agree I agree it's, we yeah. have to simplify it and once we simplify it I think right. it'll yeah I think you know I think maybe some people the people with, with interceptors 
I think don't understand how easy it is that they just need to give us a copy of the report they get. That's and then and the people without interceptors, I think we need to where appropriate, which I bet's ninety percent, is really educate them on the twenty five percent rule so that they don't have to do every month something that's right. kind of right. silly. Right. Um, we can make it a lot simpler for sure. Yep. Okay, great. On that same line, um, the yes. school grease trap cleaning is scheduled, as far as I know, sometime next week, but I haven't gotten a confirmation. So I have a couple more days to try to get one. I've sent a, a reminder to John Londa asking for it. Could you, um, if we don't get it, could you just you know, ask John to send us an email of when it's scheduled, you know, okay. if it's after you leave? Yep, to all. Okay. He should, he'll probably respond within the next day or so, I bet. But I will. <laughs> um, you may if, run out of time. <laughs> right, if four. Okay. Will do. And I also did send, um, I did send an email to the Board of Health. Is that a plural? Yeah. <laughs> um, the local and the Neshoba. And that was included in the package. And I have not heard anything back, but they've been advised again. And this is to see if people are submitting, sending, submitting to them by mistake Correct. and not us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, on that. Uh, the next uh, project activity is a capacity fee policy that um, I've been working on. Um, we all looked at the draft. We sent that to legal, I don't know, maybe through, well, must have been probably four weeks ago now, because uh, we looked at it last time I was here. Um, I have um, communicated uh, somewhat with Jeff Blake um, at um, Copeman and Page. Uh, unfortunately, something came up today, so we couldn't have the, hopefully, the last conversation on it. His initial, um, uh, his initial comment was that um, we can um, charge a capacity-related fee for new users um, uh, due to extensions, not new users uh, that are already on a line. So new users that just haven't connected, that are already <coughs> on a sewer line, that just haven't connected yet for whatever reason, it would not apply to them because they are already guaranteed capacity. Uh, it's really e extensions for which there is no capacity set aside yet that we would be able to charge um, a capacity fee. And again, for people at home, this is to offset the, the cost that we are now being charged for adding capacity. We just um, bought a bunch of capacity from Fitchburg because we basically were out. We couldn't even have any extensions uh, without securing that, but uh, there is a cost related, <coughs> and we're trying to see how to fairly spread that cost. Um, and it seems most fair to spread it to, to new users um, and new extensions. Um, so um, Jeff has said that at least that part is okay. Uh, what we still have to have some discussion on is do we have the ability to continue to charge that capacity fee once we've paid off, in this case, the Fitchburg debt? And, and um, are we able to accumulate that? Because we will need to buy more capacity. There's no question. Um, uh, we may even have to do some construction in order to, to uh, utilize our current capacity well by diverting some some sewerage to Lemonster from Fitchburg where our capacity is, is um, you know, will become again limited. Uh, so he's, uh, he still has to get back to me on that, but the first key step is there, that we can we can charge a fee. Um, I want to get clear from, from him, but I th it was implied in his message, but I want to get it very clear that we can do that across the board uh, as opposed to just charging that to extensions that go to Fitchburg. So, but I believe that was his response, that we can charge a, a, a fee across the board. Um, as well as it should, because it's one, we're running one operation. And so that's, that was my point to him. We get, we, you know, we have, you know, <coughs> very different sewerage fees to Fitchburg versus Lemister, but we have one blended rate to try to keep it one system. Um, and I think the same, thank you, David, the same principle here. Um, uh, and hopefully he comes back with an okay on that. That, that was one of the, actually one of the surprises to me that that I just assumed it's under the assumption that, that where, how we're going now is the path that we have to take. 
Um, and, and actually by talking to Al from Small Water, it's like not necessarily because a well-placed pump station can change flows. the flows. Mm -hmm. so, so basically controlling where we're, where we're sending it to. Right. So that, that really you know, is worth checking into yeah. down the road. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, I, for those who, um, who weren't here or aren't aware, um, when we did the new IMA with Fitchburg and we knew we were out of capacity, we, just, we couldn't even have any, anyone connect anymore to Fitchburg. Right. Um, we went in, we tried to project how much capacity we wanted, went to the CWMP. Um, unfortunately, that came up with a very big number probably twice the capacity that we've bought at the $150,000 sure. that we've had to buy it at. Um, in order to get that down, um, um, what we did is we made some assumptions. Um, uh, there's a particular area in the CWMP 10F, it was, um, that we assumed we would not send to Lemonster, or would not send to Fitchburg, that we would send the other way. And then the other big assumption was that Electric Ave, um, up to a certain point, Electric Ave goes to Fitchburg. That if we get close on capacity, we were going to have to take and reverse it, and reverse it, pump it back up over the hills, put another line in, you know, draw it downhill, but then pump it back over to to Lemonster. So we've already made some assumptions, and that's why I'm that's why I'm I'm concerned about trying to um, build some additional bank, so to speak, because we've already made these assumptions in order to secure capacity. And, they, and those costs will be real at some point, that we will, will have to do that. Uh, and if we, if we haven't you know, sort of built up a fund, then it's going to be a, a bigger nut um, that everybody's going to have to pay for. Um, so that, that was sort of the, the philosophy there. It's exactly to your point, Mike, is that mm -hmm. we need to redirect, uh, redirect <coughs> some of these flows because, um, you know, Fitchburg, I mean, if nothing else, Fitchburg's rate is about twice Lemonster's. It, it was an eye opener to me that I, I I never realized really it could be done. And mm -hmm. It can, <laughs> just money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where we stand. Um, uh, hopefully, by the next meeting, um, we'll get the other uncertainties uh, resolved, and we'll we'll have a we'll have a policy. Um, privately funded extension policy, um, we. Um, uh, we haven't made any progress on that. It's, uh, we don't have a champion for that um, at this time. We take volunteers. Um, well, that's going to be one of my recommendations, Mr. Chair. Maybe when we redid the board, we never really redid the. So maybe we should do that mm. at the end of the meeting or at the end of this okay. section. Yeah, I'm sure. Sure, Troy is just <coughs> confident a bit to get his teeth in a few of these things. Um, okay. Well, I, I, I don't see any need to, to, to wait in the agenda if we want. Let's have that discussion now. Because um, in, in my mind, um, you know, it's going fairly well. The things we have champions on are, are moving um, pretty well, uh, except the last one, which I didn't mention, which was the business systems and process improvement, which I signed up for and haven't had much time um, to work with Barb on yet. Um, but we do have um, the privately funded sewer extension um, policy update. And this is, um, Troy, for your benefit, um, the Lancaster Ave extension is what you know, drove this thought process. We learned a lot during that process, um, what to do as well as what not to do. Um, we, have, we did have a, um, a workshop and a brainstorm to try to capture most of those things, which I still have rolled up on the big pieces of paper in my office <laughs> and haven't got, uh, haven't got the time to. Um, distill into um, legible things um, um, but we certainly learned some things that we we can put in the policy so that the next extension um, would be um, a lot more successful than uh, than that was um, although that was successful in the results it just was a little painful in the process um, so we have that one which isn't assigned at all um, the um, mr. chairman I'll I'm happy to volunteer to you help with that. You take that. Great. Thank you very much. And I'll, uh, I'll work with you to transport Thank all you. the stuff I have <laughs> over. And well, Mr. Chair, I was going to say, Troy, if you, want, we'll get it all. <laughs> if you want to take any other one, I'll be glad to work with you, too, like a, a skater or an skater. I think we're coming down to really small water systems yeah, giving I, us the proposal. I think we're at 
No, no, I, we're beyond that. As I, I think it's t time to take it off the list because it's been turned over to. I it's believe Jack's, over to DPW. Jack's moving forward with it, yeah. It has been? Yeah. So yeah. we haven't yeah. seen Jack's got numbers. everything. That's why I asked before. Jack's ready to go, correct? Right. Um, he's got the, the proposals. He's got the information from Jay on um, some of the subtleties that we don't want to miss. So is Jack going to come back to us with a cost for the budgets? <coughs> we've, already, um, we've already approved that. Which one I hope he that? comes back with about a third of what we approved, but... Yeah, I mean, I like to see the, I like to see the final because <laughs> that was yeah. nice. Yeah. Barbara is Jack working with uh, small water on it, right? Okay, okay. so I like to see because they're going to need a contract, right? Yeah, he's, the basic basically what what after all of was said and done and all the good work that, that Jay did was it's the original proposal, which was the I don't know, was it like sixty six hundred? It was mm, it's it's original more. proposal plus the um, fine tuning that, that Jay did with specifying some specific pieces of equipment right. um, and some warranty issues which are important getting those included and then the last thing which wasn't in the original was the um, the connectivity right and, and where are we with that? And that one is the one we haven't seen at all okay that that's that's what I like to see the complete package what is the right. complete package and you're right Jay did a great job but I, I know the big one was communication Right, because that was yep. going all over the place. I don't know if there was going to be a contract, but a, we'd have to do a PO. Um, and a lot of the IT, it looked like we would work directly with Steve Malandrino's local IT. Right. So that, that's, you're correct. I just want to know who, yeah. who was spearheading that and right. doing the communication for it. Yeah. Because that was a missing piece that I had questions on. Okay. So I think that one we So you want to take that off our yeah. board? I think we should take that. And we just get on the normal updates with Jack, we should get we should get the details. Okay. That solves that one. That was easy. The other one we had um, no one specifically assigned, although every one of us well every one of us touch everything, was the I and I reduction project, which is hopefully nearing a completion, but not complete because we still have some some issues to deal with how to get into the houses what do we want to do about uh, fines if any um, well we we have policies already in place on that yes but, but I mean, the policies have some latitude in them right you know uh, Troy that would be a good one for you if we can check out uh, if it's the I and I because we're getting to the phase of and we have our policies on it as fines and stuff like that and uh, I th That'd be fine. Good I think you should, yeah. before we send out the letters with the... Yeah, you'd probably have a better idea on the legal aspect of it, right? So, uh, th This is definitely not an area of expertise, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're all learning. But of all the candidates. <laughs> we all learn as you go. <laughs> <laughs> and we all help. <laughs> okay. The, only, yeah. the, the other one here on while we're discussing this that, that um, creates some confusion is the grease trap because uh, we have two names in there and I, it's always tough when you have two names <laughs> well i think we kind of just i think we should put all on together five, yeah, basically five names in there because we all we're all doing the same thing when it comes yeah. to the i mean i think we're all out there checking the grease traps and stuff uh, mr chairman if i can on, since i've signed up for the i and i re reduction yeah <laughs> um when you were talking about them uh, mike uh, um, was talking about spraying them out is that go into the Oh. or is that is there another way to clean or I was thinking uh, the same that's what he said that I think we got to call ahead to Fitchburg like fill in your pool <laughs> you gotta no it's that's a very there's a lot of water <laughs> it is a great idea but I mean, it's probably the same policy <laughs> give Fitchburg a call say we're cleaning the pool we're filling the pool <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's important it probably makes sense that that you know if, yeah, just if, we're gonna, if we're gonna add all yeah. that volume into it that, yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense Troy yeah that's a good point, though. It is a good point. Yeah. You see your meters go. <laughs> right, yeah. Your bills are two point three million dollars. We just let flow assessment yeah. down. Uh, there must be some sort of protocol there. Yeah. yeah I don't, I, well, we, we do need to look into that. That's a yeah. really good input, and um, I'm not sure how much volume there is. I bet it's really fast, though, whatever it is. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll move on. Capacity fee, I'll take... Uh, bring home I hope soon um, and I can <coughs> continue to work with um, 
fireball now. Yeah, we could have a it's national a flush day and have everybody flush at once. You know, with just all that water pushes right through. It might work. <laughs> that might work. Okay. Okay, uh, small water pump station reports. Anyone have any comments or? I, I've, I've just got one quick comment on yeah. that, and that's um, I talked to Al mm -hmm. and kind of embarrassed to say that I'd never been in the pump station. So I've um, invited myself oh, in, to, and gonna he's going he's gonna to email me to um, schedule it in that I'm going to yeah. take the tour. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Bring, we'll bring sandwiches. Yeah, like, yeah let Troy right. know, I'll too, because he's too. never yeah. got in. And yeah. Yeah, those those really good. good. Those are pretty cool. They, they, you'll have a good time. On yeah. 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 So he, he's, he's taking a couple weeks vacation, huh. and when he gets back, he's going to okay. email me, and we're going to schedule something. So Good. We'll make a day of it, Troy. The two I would recommend you... Yeah, bring a lunch. For <laughs> the, the two I would recommend you not miss would be is the, the Dana Street, because that's where we get a lot of clogs. Dana and Street? And, okay. the, and, and almost... Yeah. Well, almost all of what we send to Lemonster goes through Dana Street. Okay. We, you know, we yeah. pump it five times to get it to yeah. Dana Street. I believe what I believe the idea is meet them first thing in the morning yeah. and just pick up real wind tour. So, looking well, forward. To <coughs> the one on Lemonster Road is really fascinating. That's where. Uh, is that the other one with the chandelier? No, that, that's. <laughs> put all the computer equipment in there. It's like you're in a little mission control. It's pretty. Yeah. It's no, pretty I can. I can. Uh, I can see where Just they cost get a better so much. insight of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's worth it. It's, it's well worth it. And you'll and it's it, it's also worth seeing how um, how well maintained and how uh, conscientious Al is. Just to, to watch him, they're like his babies. You you can see why we yeah. good why our call outs good. have gone way down. Okay, minutes. Uh, six. Yes, I just sent them out, so I don't know. Oh, for um, I, I actually, I got, I reviewed them, Barbara. Okay. Yeah. I, I read the last Barbara. minute yeah. tonight. Yeah. All right. Did you have a chance? Okay. Hmm? And so, who do we? I thought I had it on here. Um, who else? Who else? Was it? That's the meeting I missed, right? Yeah. Oh, Troy. Yeah. Troy. Did you have a chance to look at Troy? Him, no. So. Okay. Right. So we'll get him the next time. Okay. Do, do you want a handout? Do you want them? Sure. Thank you. Okay. We did have one other thing. Did you break the contract? Okay. Did you bring back the contract for small yeah. world? You walked it. You walked it. Oh, I, I walked it. Back. Back. Oh, I don't know. Okay. And did you, uh, do you want to discuss this, um, his outline of the report that you might have five yeah. copies of it. Oh, it didn't go out to everyone? <laughs> no. no. I would just okay. send it. It's pretty comprehensive. I read them. Yeah, yeah. I read them. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Did this Mike or Dave have, have any edits? No, I actually have not. Really it was say. pretty straightforward. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was. I found it very interesting. I, you know, I knew you needed good it. Good stuff you guys did in my <laughs> absence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put it on the agenda next for the next meeting. Okay. Um, Business managers reports. Yep. The Whalem Luxury Apartment Project, previously known as Lunenburg <laughs> Village. The hearing is tomorrow night. Um, they are putting in for waivers again for privilege fees as we saw by the email. So um, Gary's been in or called to get costs of what our privilege fees and connection fees are and you know, planning to fight them, I believe. Um, so mm -hmm. if anybody is available tomorrow night mm -hmm. for the hearing. I, I plan to go to it again. As I said, we've made it clear um, to everyone in the public set last public meeting as well as um, in emails to um, Oh, who's, the, who's the engineering consultant? Dick Keaton. Dick, thank you. Is that the one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, what our position is, and that we had taken a formal vote not to ex waive privilege fees um, unless there was a extension down Pleasant View. So. No, I think Mr. Lord knows exactly where we stand on this. Yeah. But again, it's it's uh, it's up to the ZBA that they have the final decision, but they know our position quite quite well. 
All right. Um, encumbrances and end of year commitment I'll have on the next meeting. Um, anything that has not yet been billed will encumber. Mm -hmm. Highfield Village um, was part of the planning board meeting last night. And I got a report back from Marjorie um, saying hearing was opened and continued to a date not yet determined. Mm -hmm. Project engineer has not yet supplied all the necessary information to the reviewing engineer. Their current ex extension expires July 28th, and Marjorie's requested or recommended to George Smith that another request for extension is should be provided. Wow, it's a lot of years. Yeah, it's been going on a bit. Okay, but we're all clean with. Uh, we're done. Yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done with them. We've got agreements in place. We're ready to go. And All right. Invoices. Invoices. I just have Fitchburg's, which came. Oops. It did come in with the figure that you, uh, we expected based on the flow meters. Okay. And I thought I had it attached, but I don't. Sorry. But Mike has reviewed it. Yes, I have. <laughs> you have reviewed this one? You can read it? Oh. I should, um, I sh mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get one more. I'm going to, no, I have right. planned to encumber for the last, the 12th invoice for Fitchburg for this year. So, just say so you no, know, there should be one more, mm -hmm. hopefully. Okay, I guess the next one's mine. Next one's yours. <laughs> Um, the, the, the next subject I just want to initiate, not, not for lots of discussion, but um, we've been operating here for many years now, it seems, um, as a sewer commission and uh, enterprise fund, and Barb's been doing a, a, a great job for us. Um, but we've never actually um, had any kind of structure to, to the position in terms of goals or assessments. And I, I think we owe it to her and ourselves and our users to um, to do that um, so what I'd like to just to get the process started um, is I'd like at the next meeting if people could bring some ideas of goals let's just start with goals for the next year uh, and not a lot I'm, what, what, what I'm preparing, and I need to I need to work with Jack on this and I haven't had a chance to do that yet but um, this is when all of the goals and assessments for the town uh, employees is, is done I'd like to model this a little bit after what the selectmen are doing with Carrie and Carrie's doing with the department uh, managers and it's usually two pieces goals and then assessment um, goals are the, the easiest so if we could put that on the agenda for next time um, and Barb if you could um, think of some what you think are appropriate goals and uh, just make sure that we all get on the same the same line here what's important and um, or what's most important it's all important but what's most important and then the next step will be assessment but I'd like to do a little bit more homework with Carrie and Jack um, to see how we fit into that assessment um, plan. Good, thank you. M Mr. Chairman, uh, yes. I would just yes, like to make a comment uh, yes. uh, for Barb is um, I sincerely appreciate your minutes. Um, I think you do a great job there and I just wanted to say that. I don't know if it's the appropriate place, but oh. um, having some comparables out there, I, I really appreciate them. Thanks. She has done a pretty good job on those minutes though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Good input. Thank you, Troy. All right. Okay. Oh. Um, just that I will be out. Yes. <laughs> next week. Don't feel guilty. You deserve it, Barb. Okay. <coughs> Thanks. There goes your goals. <laughs> 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 I have all week to think about it's them. A good, it's a good week to go. Okay. That's, That's the end of the agenda. Any next meeting is July 8th at the oh, DPW. How did I miss that? Oh, that's after the adjournment. Oh, that oh sorry. <laughs> Throw one in there. No problem. So July 8th, DPW. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Any comments from the 27th? commission? Are we meeting the 27th? Um, ah. Mm, that's the best way. Yes, Good we point. need to post that. Thank you very much, Troy. Uh, as a, as a, regarding the engineering contract, uh, we had mentioned at the beginning of this meeting if that we'll be talking to um, the low bidder this week, uh, yeah. so we will have a meeting on Friday. Thank you, Troy. At DPW. At DPW at 1.30. Okay. 
Good. I would accept a motion unless there's any other I'll make comments. make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'll you. second that motion. Thank you very much, Mike. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all and good evening. Happy 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We won't be back. <laughs>